Hi, it's me, Patrick, from Podcast About List. I'm sure at this point you're already aware that every single one of these video episodes is started with a little cold open to get you excited for the episode you're about to watch. Um, so this week, I was uh, tasked with creating the uh, cold open, and uh, I just wanted to uh, say that I'm, I'm very proud of it, and um, I hope that you like it just as much as I liked making it. Uh, we have a great episode for you today, and uh, thank you for watching. And then start... The Okay, and start get, over. Things are gonna get easier. Okay, now sing into the microphone and start over. Okay, so I have to sing. Okay, si okay, just do what you did, but start over. Okay, am I positioned correctly? Do I look like I'm in some kind of red racist clan? No. Wait. No. Now you do. <laughs> no, you look like ET. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm never wearing anything ever again. Really? Asshole. That's exciting. Wait, no. <laughs> and our plan worked. <laughs> Fuck. You're never wearing anything ever again. Mm. Mm. You're not going to get me to be naked all the time just by making fun We're of gonna my We're going to do clothes. a Red Hot Chili Peppers episode. Dude, where we I only, have to say great idea. we only wear a sock on our penis. The, it, was, it was huge for... for Guys who, if guys like me who think aliens are sexy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Not only do is ET get to be naked at the beginning, then he dresses like a girl. Yep, that is a serious score. That is hot as that fuck. Can, yeah. The first movie you get to watch with your family mm -hmm. and Jack off. You get too. to see a naked alien. And you get to see a naked alien, uh -huh. and then a girl dressed in one. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the same alien, but it's naked alien. Yeah, yeah. He does go completely sheet white. He looks like a. The, there's a scene in ET. I always forget that that scene existed where he like like ET. He e. turns white. ET uh, turns. What did he say? Um, nice to meet you. I'm ET. <laughs> did he say something like that? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. He says, "Gosh, golly." Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm. I, I'm one of oh, watch uh, Parks and Recreation. I need, I need to go home. Like that. Yeah. White ass alien. Uh huh. They fuck you, ET. They queer eye him too at the end. He's already queer as fuck. That's right. Because he's under five feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the um, th but the scene where ET turns like sheet white, I forgot about, and then I kept yeah. seeing like uh, like that picture posted of like ET turning like like just ET dead ET on the ground, half dead ET in the on river, the half yeah. dead. He's half dead. Okay, he was He's half, half dead. Continue. Dead. Half dead alien. Half, half dead. dead white alien. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how you find it <laughs> when you want to if you want to Google search it. You look up half dead white alien, and that comes up ET in a river, pops up. What were you saying though? I just yeah. forgot that that existed. <laughs> you I forgot, forgot. That scene. <laughs> I forgot that scene existed, and I thought that it was a nightmare that I had when I was a kid. Okay, that I, I understand. It, like, I've definitely had nightmares before, and then like I've had, I've had a lot of nightmares <laughs> where ET dies. <laughs> <laughs> I've had nightmares before, but where I'm like. Man, what a weird nightmare. And then, like, two years later, it's, like, some weird holiday. I'm at home. Mm. The cable's on. Small Soldiers comes on. And I'm oh, like, oh, yeah. fucking shit. Yeah. It wasn't even... It was just a memory I have. Yeah. yeah. 
of I watching think specifically this movie. the E.T. River scene, I think that's one that everybody thinks they just experienced. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that the I'm I was sure convinced. I'm pretty sure we've talked about it. Before. I've okay. never heard you guys talk about this before. I think maybe, Pat maybe might be right. I was convinced that that was filmed in the Charles River. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid, I love doing that when you're a kid. Is be is just being, being like, like, oh, I, that's oh, where I the know. oh, I recognize that. I think that building okay, is yeah. actually the office building yeah. in my town. <laughs> yeah. The only which is a little different growing up in Boston than growing yeah. up in Wilmington, <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The only movie. Not even what. There's movies filmed in Wilmington. Growing up in like Leland, like an hour outside, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's actually the back of the Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember when um, in the office, when Jim and Pam have like, uh, they like, f- when uh, they finally have a kiss or whatever, or get married or some shit like that, you see like the back of a, it's like the back of a warehouse or something. Oh, yeah. And I was like, Hey, that we could is, forget that scene. I was like, that's the Best Buy in Wilmington, North Carolina. All Best Buys look exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. But it also wasn't a Best Buy. You know, buy. it could there, it could have been filmed at Best Buy. The police station in my town was in a movie one yeah. time, and it was scary. Whoa. Yeah, it's <laughs> Cameron caught red-handed. <laughs> 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 but you're not supposed to. You're not supposed was to it, actually recognize. The, I don't remember what it was in. What, what, I can't remember. It was probably in tons of movies with the fucking Sarnayevs. They made you shit That's famous. True. No, dude, that wasn't. That was Watertown. The only, but isn't that one town over? It's one yeah. town over. But the only the only movie I it's remember. Not, it's not the same police station. Yeah, you're right. Growing up. The uh, like, I never pieced it together that it was filmed in New Hampshire was a uh, Jumanji. Really? Whoa, I thought yeah. they filmed huge. that in the jungle. Jumanji. Yeah, well, <laughs> Wait, I thought they filmed that. I thought they filmed that inside of a board game. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, Keene, New Hampshire. That's where. Uh, that's where all of that was like shot. They filmed Zathura in space. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. For real. They I put love a house. I mean, Zathura. You know, like is the there a is scene? Spinning. That's how. Is that, there a scene in that movie where the guy, the kid, is like? Oh fuck! There's something at the door, and he goes and he opens the door, and it's just space out there. I think, I think so. so. Yeah, <laughs> that's so awesome. And then who's that, that movie is so sick, <laughs> dude. So it's cool. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. And yeah. then it's like the and then reveal. there's and hey, then there's spoilers. the lizard. What are the lizard aliens called? Jubia. Jubios. In Zathura? Search Zathura Jubios. lizard alien. But there's the scene <laughs> where like it's Dax Shepard in that movie. <laughs> And Kristen Stewart's character is like, that's the hottest guy I've ever seen. And then it's revealed that it's just the the, the little kid at the end. Oh, it's yeah. It's grown up. Oh, Wait, yeah. Wait, this yeah. is the alien from no, Zathura? No, Lizard sure, Alien no, Zathura. This is, this is definitely this him. This is Lizard Alien. This is him. Right, show, put this up on this. screen. Yeah, you got to put it up. That's <laughs> him. <laughs> that's not, I, remember, I just want to no. know what they're called. Ned. I remember thinking the that's name of them the was the really h- cool. They're, they're probably called, called Character Zathuras. Alien Lizard with Gun 3D Rig. That looks like Please just look it up. I want to know. Machine. <laughs> they should uh, make. I guess a I'll new, look it up uh, on my phone. If You're they made useless. a third, because so they went back to Jumanji. Yeah. But if they made a third, if they went, they went Jumanji is they, Africa, which is the past, and then they do Zathura, <laughs> which is <laughs> which is space, which is the future. I don't think. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think Jumanji <laughs> takes place in Africa. I think it takes place in a fictional world of Jumanji. No, it's Africa. <laughs> I don't remember that there's, movie that uh, well. There's, uh, no, maybe it is. You're yeah. not going to believe what the uh, lizard aliens are called in Zathura. They're called Zorgons. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Holy, Holy shit. Fuck. Bet you're glad I looked that up. I am glad. Yeah. Zorgons. <laughs> Zorgons. Oh, did you see in the, one, of the of new, <laughs> one of the new uh, Jumanji movies, the, one of the like plot points, like the entire movie, I guess. I didn't see the movie, but I read about this, is I think like part of it is like, Kevin, there's like a mix-up when they go into the game. It's like a video yeah. game, yeah. and it's like Kevin Hart in Jack Black's body, and yeah. Jack Black is just doing is just doing Kevin Hart. The Jack Black movie. does Black Jack. Yeah, as we've <laughs> talked about many times. He does Black Jack. He Man. finally gets his opportunity yeah. to go Black Jack. How many of those did they make? I feel uh, like they made like two made or three. Kevin Hart does the Kevin Hart heavy ones. heavy fart. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Jack Black. Mm-hmm. Heavy uh, Bart. Mm-hmm. Yep. Keep going. Kevin yeah. Hart's heaven. heaven fart. He dies in the movie. He has Spoiler. a heaven fart. <laughs> He's playing heaven Spoiler cart. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Up there. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That'd be a good video game on your grandparents. Heaven cart. Yeah. Mario Kart situation. It's not a bad idea. It's pretty good. Well, yeah. Check this out. The pull this, pull this photo up, Jubio. He does. He's going to get demonetized. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't fucking do that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but yeah, if they make a third Jumanji style z- z- Jumanji. Z- okay. I'll admit. Jumanji isn't in Africa. Uh, it's in the board game. Look, it's in a board I'll, game. Yeah, yeah for I, now. <laughs> what, they're, 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 I'm gonna, they're gonna, they're, you're gonna go over. You're gonna go to Africa. And I will. I'm Jumanji. charting an expedition to see maybe if there's a town called Jumanji in Africa. 
But Zathura, that's you in need space. To, you don't need well, to chart so an expedition. Well, here's my Google here's, Maps. Here's nah. my pitch. It's I mean, it's it needs to be a trilogy, right? They yeah. already they have they have Jumanji that's yeah. in the jungle. They have Zathura that's in space. So then I think maybe that they could have like a third one that's just in called the like water. Okay, no, no, okay. no. Just let him do his that's thing. That's really fucking stupid. Yeah, that's right. basically the same as the jungle. That basically and that's, you wouldn't be able that's to, nature. You're right. you fucking, I forgot there's a fish in Jumanji, and you wouldn't be able to hear the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Asshole. And I'm sorry. And Cameron, put her there. Thank you. Okay, continue your third Jumanji. Okay, Coolsville, and it's a town. Holy shit. It's a normal town. Oh, that's, that's where a, Scooby-Doo lives. That's a good point. Is it you? they could make the third one a Scooby-Doo movie? Yep. That's, that's <laughs> a really good point. Like good. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's that's a, what you you could get. It could be like one of those themed, like, you know, they, they'll they have like a Scooby-Doo version of Monopoly. Yeah. yeah. Like what you if, get sucked wh- into okay. that. Wait, what if the third one is just random stuff? They just, just go, shit. don't go. They just go yeah. in there, and just it's just all stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just dice and jazz. <laughs> what if it's just Muji? an actual board game? They get yeah. sucked yeah. into it. And now they're on a tiny version of life. Oh my god! You know? And that's they're like, genius. Because that's the thing about Zathura. Where and the there's just shit tiles? everywhere. There's, yeah, there's just tons of junk yeah. and fucking shit everywhere. Yeah, just garbage just and all that. Yeah, shit leftover everywhere. Leftover food. Yeah. All the kinds of stuff. Diapers and nasty shit like that. Shit and junk everywhere. Other there's. Life and Payday, I played a lot of. It's the same up. thing to me. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. What game. Life was one of those games I never played, but I always looked at it and I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" Yeah. One day when I get whoa. older, I'm gonna play this every day. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys? Um, what if you could get sucked into one board game? What's you going? With Not mouse. Guess who? <laughs> you would be so good in guess who. <laughs> you look just like a guess who guy. Wait, do you have a punch in on the hat? Is <laughs> Take your hat off. No, wait, hat can imagine be part- this on a t- <laughs> <laughs> You look just like guess who? Yeah, what oh I have, does he look like does, your does your guy look surprised? <laughs> When I have longer hair, I look just like a guess who character. Oh, you you are like look right just now. like him, dude. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, dude. This isn't showing a. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> god damn, guess yeah, who? Yeah, that is crazy. Wait, um, wait, wait, if you got sucked into guess who, though, are you just. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> that does look like. Me. If you got sucked into guess who, are you just gonna. Are you just gonna sit there all day? Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like that one's pretty boring. I mean, boring you know, one. you don't, you don't really have to do much. And guess who? You gotta hold that face until yeah. you get stuck. You're like trapped that. for eternity. Wait, I'll try. I'll try it right now. That is good. That is a good guess. Who that face. is a good guess who face. So what would? So yeah, what would you say if you were guessing who? Um, so you and me are playing guess who, and we're yeah. both on this guy. We're both on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'd be like, is your guy a girl? Yes. Okay, and I'm putting down a bunch of pieces. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because well, he yeah, because oh well, my god, know. my guy's moving. Well, who, <laughs> Caleb, my guy's ah! moving. Ah! My guy's talking to me. Ah! Well, which one of you has me? We both you can't do. do. Oh, so you both have there's me one guy. And we don't know. Okay. It's a new version of Guess Who, where there's just one tile, and okay. we both and we don't know that we have the yeah. same guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we open up the thing. Uh, it's one. It's just a picture of him. It's not a cartoon at all. Yeah. I go. Uh, fuck. It's a gif. Um, it's just me going like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is your guy? Uh, I mean, yeah, is your guy, did he just put a hat on? No. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> now you look like guess who, looking so sly and coy. Is your I guy guess sly? We, I guess that's Is your thing. guy coy? Is your guy kind I mean, of. really specific. <laughs> is your guy clever? <laughs> <laughs> does, your guy, does your guy have a wry smile? <laughs> What's your guy's favorite food? <laughs> Hmm. And you're like, oh, I think pizza. And go, oh, okay. And yeah. put, down, put down a bunch of them. Yeah. Like, these guys don't no, like pizza. These people couldn't like pizza. Yeah. Their skin's too good. Pizza's good, though. Pizza, pizza good is as good as a motherfucker. Yeah. No fucking lie. True. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably go into categories, though. Yeah. That's not a that good one. That categories guy, the man. logo. I'd probably go into <clears throat> categories, or, categories or Sudoku. The categories logo go hard. Yeah. No, I'm you need it. man. There's shut two, up. There's two logos that go hard as fuck, and it's Sherlin Sherlin Williams, <laughs> and it's categories. Who's categories? <laughs> That's what I when I play uh-huh. categories. Sherlin Williams. Williams. Probably, I go into Hot Wheels. Categoried. Huh? Hot Wheels. Hot ones. Hot Wheels. Oh my God! Wait, a Hot Wheels board game would be. We fired. should do Hot Wheels where we make celebrities eat toy cars. <laughs> 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 See if they can eat ten toy cars 
<laughs> Sitting there with Halle Berry. She's too deep, but she fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> she gets gastroenteritis. Yeah, she instantly Enteritis? dies. Enteritis? I don't know what uh, it is. You my learned cat, it yesterday. Yep, your cat my had cat it. got it. Why are you yeah. just dropping? Uh, yeah. Because he tried, to, he tried to sneak blockage. it in. Is that what that means? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I'd love I to thought it was like a Halle disease Berry that cats catch from weird humans. Intestinal blockage. What? Don't say that. What? 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 I love, <laughs> I love What do you guys want from me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give her gastroenteritis. No, no. I want to give her gastroenteritis. That's yeah, not wanna... what I sound like, guys. It's not <laughs> very funny to do that. Yeah, I want to put my finger in her butt. No, I didn't sound anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah, and I want to no, smell the no, no. after. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I didn't no, say No, no, no. no, no I didn't I say I want to make her a puppet with my finger. I didn't say anything like that. I said it. I said something on accident. I wish I had talked like that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. It's so no. cool that like you'd be a laughing stock. It's no, so I cool. People it's so would cool when like you. like uh like People Patrick don't... Warburton. I feel like has that voice because he's so tall. But it's so cool when somebody is like, I like wanna... six foot eight and they have the voice of a mouse. Who yeah. did? I met a guy the other day where he was like really really good looking, like model good looks and like dressed really cool. And I was like. Man, this guy's cool as shit. And then I met him, and he's like, Hey, it's very nice to meet you. I was like... You met a gay guy? No, (laughs) he was straight. (laughs) That's the worst part. (laughs) The worst worst part. part. He was straight. I couldn't even suck his cock, (laughs) dude. It was awful. Uh Yeah, but it scared me. I was like, you really do. It always is all just a fucking create a character randomized sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's all. That's Hey, you know what? That's why life is one big game of guess who. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bringing mm. it back to that, mm. it is a bit of guess who, but it's guess it. You're trying to guess who's the correct religion. Yeah, yeah. Guess guess who should be in every like you know in, in every sci-fi and <laughs> like Star Wars where they play like like their exactly. fucked up future chess and yeah. stuff. I think uh, in every sci-fi movie where they're playing fucked up future chess, they shouldn't. It, chess will not survive. It's gonna be guess Fuck. who. Yeah, no, it's gonna be Fortnite. that'd be so cool. Just categories too. will survive. <laughs> Maybe. But imagine, imagine <laughs> future like guess who, dude, and you're like, is your guy a Zabrak? Twenty two X. They're like, yeah. Twenty two like, X. Yeah. Is he green? Like, well, there's only no. one Zabrak. You, yeah, yeah, everything but one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Twenty two X X. Uh, fucking people playing <laughs> categories. Yeah. On some big ass like. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's yeah? Piercer thing. What's every? What's a Zor- Zorgonian that begins with Z? Everyone's like, oh, Zoblo, Zarbo, Zubi, Zorbos, Zababa, Zublers. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've only played categories. Be way too one, easy. <laughs> but I played with. I. I <laughs> There's so many words by that point in the categories future. Categories is what. That's where you come up with things. It's like it's, it's like categories, and then you have yeah. To, it's like you roll oh, a little yeah. die. I played it's categories like, one time, and it was but it was uh, I played it basically. The two teams were essentially one of the teams b- did not speak English very well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it really made the game a lot funnier. Yeah, they were mm-hmm. just throwing out Spanish stuff, and we were like, oh, I don't even know if that's. If that's yeah. okay. We don't know if that like, breaks the <laughs> like, rules. They, 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 like fucking the scoreboard is just like yeah. We didn't. You know. guys are just getting yeah. dem- demolished. They were putting the numbers in Spanish too. I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's. I don't think there's numbers really. It's more of a letter scam. <laughs> there no, is numbers. There's numbers. What are the numbers? Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Oh, twenty thousand leagues under the sea. That's a good, qu- that's a good answer because <laughs> you get because you get points by the letter when I play it. <laughs> <laughs> we should be playing. We should have a game night. Yeah. yeah. We had one the other night, which was pretty fun. When? We had a game night at the pub. Did we? Yeah. Do you guys don't remember? No. Okay. What? Oh, we, we played, played Connect we played, 4. Uh, no, we played that was a What while Do ago. You Meme or something. Oh, oh right. Yeah, or, I do remember that. that. I mean, I didn't even remember that as being a game because it was so damn fun. Or no, we played, what was it called? It was called like Crazy <laughs> Fuck You. It was too you. fun for me to yeah. remember <laughs> as we a played, game. We played some some game, some it was drinking called, yeah, game. It was, that called was called, called la- it was If You Laugh, You Drink. Yeah. If You Laugh, You Drink. And it was, and a it lot was of, there was, and almost every I don't single want, I almost don't want to spoil too much because I want to play that. It was pretty fun. On today. It yeah. is funny. It is. It is funny that they do have just like uh, board games at bars. I've never really like like just go there and it's hang out with your have, friends. Yeah, it's funny they have drinks at bars. No, it's like, what are you doing? What board games at I bars is board, not as a, common as drinks thing. at bars. You're trying to be Bill Maher with your yeah. face. You're, the board games at bars thing is a newer kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like why they have axes of our to freaking throw at bars baby now. ass culture. That I've never done the axe throwing thing yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I bet first try I do that, bullseye. <clears throat> Probably. 
Uh-huh. Didn't we try to in Philly and they were all booked up? Yeah. 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 We're what awesome. an evil city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. Noon. Completely the booked. The axe throwing bar is completely booked. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even. The guys you want to go to make what fun of it can't even, get <laughs> yeah, <a> <laughs> <one>. <laughs> can't even get an appointment. What a cesspool. It's fucked up, dude. City of fucking brotherly fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I never, didn't even think about that. Yeah. That truly, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's because they took away all the guns in that liberal Democrat city. Mm-hmm. So all these kids, you got to go out there and instead of having. And Dracos in their pockets, they got axes that they're throwing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like London. I got an axe to throw with you. It's what That's video what games say. are doing nowadays. Mm-hmm. People are playing God of War, yep, stuff like this. They think it's okay to carry an axe around and throw yep. it at people. They go, they go, it's okay if I if I kill 10,000 people with that this axe because they respawn. Yep, mm-hmm. no, you learn nah. that from a video people, game. People, kids nowadays think that people respawn when you kill them. Yeah, That's not you true. think so. But they don't do that. They, they should don't. have a video game that when you die, you die. The game shuts off. They mm-hmm. have that. And There's one. Really I know one guy who responds, and like he's that. way more Damn. important than any video game. Who? Yep. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Although he's not. So yeah, what I was saying about picking religion, I think I'm leaning heavily towards Islam again. Yeah. I think I'm getting back into Islam because of all the World Cup stuff. Seems pretty cool to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Where you have an entire country called Guitar, and you can <laughs> not, you can't have any beers there. Yeah, they call it Guitar, right? And you think hard rock. Yeah, you're thinking, oh shit, yeah. Guitar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And then you get there. <laughs> oh. You got the, you got your beer can sitting on either side of your head. You're like, I'm ready to play. I'm ready, I'm to, ready rock. to rock. I'm ready to. Yeah. <laughs> And for, I also, they're, want saying, rock and roll. they're saying football, football. You're going, oh my god, Dude, a fucking country named Guitar with a hundred thousand people watching football. <laughs> you get there, your beers get confiscated. They cut your head off, and they start using it to play soccer. Yeah. And then you get there thinking it's going to be all hard rock, and then look who's there, Maroon, Maroon Five. Five. <laughs> yep. God damn it. What's going on, guitar? I show up to this hard rock country, yeah. and I'm seeing all this freaking girl music. What mm-hmm. the hell is this? Hell no. Where's Maroon 5 where can the... be boy music. Maroon 5 is not boy music. Maroon 5 can be boy music. No, See? but my body keeps on telling yep. me yes. Tell, Tell me, me that that's not a, that's not a, a guy's changed, sentiment. You've yeah. changed my mind. Tell me that's not a boy line. Having your body say yes to something that your brain's saying no, that's seriously some Look guy shit. Look for the guy with the fastest car. <laughs> Look for and the he's in with in guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in yeah, guitar. they change all their lyrics up when they yeah. go to guitar. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. Yeah. That's like when you guitar go to Guitar Aust- is in... That's, awesome. Um, it's called guitar. It it's actually guitar. is called guitar. It's called guitar. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Pretty much? Pretty yeah, much. Well, look, when it is. There's a country called the rhythm <laughs> there's, section. There's a d- difference. There's a, huge, there's a big it debate. Is. It's like Sunni and Kufi, or what's their name? Sunni and Shiites. Yeah. It's like Sunni and Shiites. <laughs> Sunni and Shiites. <laughs> Shiite. Oh, Shiite. Sunni. Sunni. I will su- Sunni. I will su- <laughs> Sunni Shiite. <laughs> I will go to uh, Guitar Sunni and take a Shiite. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I talking what? about? Yeah, not take a the Shiite world on the whole world. I'll take What's a Shiite in the World Cup. <laughs> yep, and then I'll fucking yeah, and, and I have back. a football. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'll put my foot in my own balls. Guitar. What's next? A country called the bass. Yeah, and then drums and, and vocals drums and vocals and keyboards and keyboards and, and not and so much. We're and not really. The I'm more section, of a, yeah, not really. No, I'm not I'm really sure about the, the UN or... saying more cowbell all of a sudden. Yeah. Right? Where's the cowbell country? <laughs> More cowbell. <laughs> it's the capital of guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they should have... from? I'm from cowbell guitar. <laughs> the original version of that sketch, he comes in and he says, more guitar. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I want there to be more guitar. And they were like, this is already really funny. Yeah, you know but what would make one... it even funnier? If it's yeah. an instrument that everybody likes. Yeah. Well, he improvised it. Yeah. He did it they, live. That's why he br- they broke uh, They broke Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they buck broke him. Yeah. Look at that poor oh bastard God. on TV. Mm-hmm. Broke him over their knee. I think he's being held hostage. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. I think Jimmy Fallon did something. What do you mean? Nobody has ever had more fun than he has had. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every day he gets to wake up and fall down fucking he's literally, flights yeah. of stairs. He's so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome, dude. I yeah. think he's living he's in like my best friend and he's being held hostage. I think he he has some kind of uh like 
vision thing. I think he just sees Candyland around. Yeah, here. yeah. I think yeah, he's like. I think he has like. I think he has like pyro vision yeah. from TF2. <laughs> they inject him with something every morning that makes him see everybody as a puppet. That's why he. That's why he laughs so much when he during his own questions and stuff because yeah. he'll, he'll be something. talking and he'll see like a unicorn yeah. fly by or a something. A gumdrop man. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking. He's talking to like fucking uh, like like Drake, who's yeah. just made out of, entirely out of. So gum people drops. say you're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he's just completely so. What flavor crazy. are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's just so fucking crazy. <laughs> so your mom was a wax bottle, and your dad was wax lips. <laughs> And you grew up in Candyland? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, the cameras are off. Doing, like, Joker lines <laughs> too, like, not even his normal line. <laughs> They film all his parts separately. Yeah, he's green screened in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but in his case, he has to be rainbow screened in because yeah. his world is Because so... he's LGBT. Yep, that too. Yeah. Yeah. I, we should maybe have a triple host of the next Tonight Show. Maybe us three could do it. Yeah, yeah I think Jimmy, that if you're listening, be. buddy, Jimmy, we, take consider, I would, I would we prefer, consider you a mentor. I'm, uh-huh. I'm kind of, I've been kind of... And you consider ta- us mentos because you're so fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I've, I have been kind of tired lately, so I would prefer if we could maybe have it changed to the this evening show. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Because I uh, just a little the earlier, prime not prime not show. so the much. Show, I've never stayed not up so till late. Tonight. I'm yeah. a very early riser in the reverse sense. Have you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got better early. Yeah. Have you? No, you guys. You guys have. Well, you went to Universal, right? Oh yeah. Do you I go on the? And Jimmy, I did it big. Do you go on the Jimmy Fallon ride? No. I didn't go to uh, Universal. I've never been to Universal. I was busy at the Universalty. Wow. Mm. Studying. Actually, everyone's in the Universal. Yeah. Damn. Damn drop that mic. Holy fuck. Drop shit. that mic. That, that's that why. That's I rode the Velocicoaster, though. Really? I did too. Yeah, no, you didn't. He's lying. Did it blow your shit back? Yeah, I read the Velocicoaster. And, You're lying. And He's kid, lying. He kid, hasn't been there when the Velocicoaster kid, was a kid built. Got killed on it. I read that's I not re- true. I had three kids got killed at the same time because it was so. That makes scary. it cooler. First of all, I read the Velociraptor. Oh, the meme. Yeah. <laughs> so that actually changed my perspective on quite a few <laughs> subjects, mm-hmm. including yeah. math and science. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, when I rode the Velocicoaster, what? Shaquille O'Neal was on it. You're, he's a liar. They, they wouldn't he's let lying. him on. He's too tall. His head would get chopped off. His head wouldn't Wait, get chopped did off. Did his head get chopped off? <laughs> Wait, that's actually the most awesome story I've ever heard. Yeah, better Wait, than Cameron. You've never son. been on that. I've been on it three times, and I almost bought a hat. Of oh, it. oh, and uh, Shaquille O'Neal's wife was on the ride with him. And I hear she's <laughs> only one inch tall. Yeah. And it's like, how does that work? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, his wife is Tinkerbell. <laughs> it is a little. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit weird that like every woman that Shaquille O'Neal has publicly dated has been. Not just normal size, but like really small. Yeah, I mean, well, it's well, most normal women size are five is gonna two. normal size is gonna be really small. Anyway no, but to him. but he only dates. He's only dated women who. Are I know, like, but what I'm saying is, I don't think there's much difference. Yeah, there's a difference probably with his penis. You no, think? I don't you think? think, uh, I think that, you think he's uh, ever picked his girlfriend up by her head? Like just palmed like her, this? just palmed her like that. Oh, definitely. It's like, hey, I need yeah. to, I need to grab something on top of the fridge, like a claw in a factory, <laughs> <laughs> just like moving her along. <laughs> Picking his girlfriend up by her head so she can get like or like uh, like oh yeah we let put the paper towels up high this and week. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just all right, go grab them. <laughs> yeah, like did you see you ever see the video of like that like spine training thing for a baby where it like holds the top of the baby's head and it like swings. Yeah, yeah, he just does like that. Yeah, that's that's how. <laughs> I forgot about that one. That's how he entertains his his yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I but she's like, she's like, dude, that's kind of questions. She's like, who are you texting? And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> man, if I, if I was, if I, I was forget tall, what I was talking about. If I was that tall oh. and I had a hand that big, psh, I'd be, Sheesh. I'd be holding. A Shit, I'd play basketball. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be the greatest baller of all time. Dude, no, I'd be so good at rock uh, paper scissors if I had a hand that big. I would use, Definitely. I would use You'll all my powers. Time. I'd use my powers to just get all, every cat out of a tree. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Leave that to the firefighters. I've never seen a cat in a tree. I have. Okay, I don't care. I've seen a bird in a tree. Me too. But I'm and I called the fire department because I got confused. <laughs> I saw a partridge in a pear tree. Really? <laughs> At Anything Christmas. else? Yeah. Two turtle doves. Anything else? A French hen. <laughs> One. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. It was just at the store. Oh, all right. <laughs> just, <you know. laughs> what store has all that? 
Birds are us. That song should okay. should be like and one hundred ornaments in a tree. Yeah, in yeah. a pine tree. I mean, I we, we'll probably get into it closer to Christmas, but let me That's tell you true. what: there would yeah. be some serious. If I was in charge of writing that song for the next year, there'd be some serious revisions. I'm mm-hmm. talking Nintendo Switch. I'm talking fucking mm. a couple of cans mm. of soda pop. Yeah, spirit of Christmas eggs. <laughs> Most of my groceries. They do need to add the yeah. spirit of Christmas to that song. Yeah, spirit of Christmas. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, I got my groceries. Yeah, all of them. On the second day of Christmas. Three, you still have to get groceries during Christmas got twice time. as many groceries. I got more groceries because <laughs> yeah. guess what? I'm having people over. Yeah, who you Third having over? Third day of Christmas, I'm having people over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fourth day of Christmas, the people are going home. They slept over. Oh, we all, all of too them? Much to drink. Wait, did you guys have like a we sex, all had too much group to sex thing? Fifth day of Christmas, I'm getting tested. You have groups. You had group sex. For what? Did group sex at, on Christmas. Doing the whole sex. screening. Well, okay. it's not on Christmas. Yes, Wait, it's during the a, days of you Christmas. You did a screening of your orgasm? Well, I'm doing, we're doing screenings after to make sure that none of us got... The screenings like you're all sitting there doing, <laughs> doing, doing watching like the film video. review, like a high school no, football you're team. All <laughs> sitting in like, you're all sitting like this with a, with a notebook. You're sitting yeah. back mm. in the theater chairs. Sitting and there's on, a, there's a, sitting the flicker the, of the projector. The benches of the locker room mm. with yeah. you with a projector here. And Fifth you see day. that? What's that? That's yeah. a wart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fifth day of Christmas. And it's like Al Pacino and and getting and, that wart burned off. In mm. uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. And that just that he's in there with you and he's just talking about the movie. He's like, what a picture! <laughs> what a <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's a picture of my penis zoomed in. <laughs> it's just a picture. It's, exactly a, it. it's <laughs> a picture of your balls. What, what a, a picture! <laughs> oh my! What a picture! <laughs> and so wow. In. If you can zoom in on it. Right that. there. Wow, that's just beautiful. <laughs> Look at that scrot fold. That's nasty. That's yeah, That'd be right. some nasty crap. That's from, from nasty crap. Oh, yeah. my God, I'm burping. You know what it is? That ghost energy. You know what it is? It's Black Friday. Yep. Yeah. So everybody knows um, what happens the first uh, Friday, or I guess the first, what happens the first Wednesday that is a... Uh, Wednesday is when you get prepared for Black Friday. Right. So that's not what I'm saying. So maybe okay. you let me finish my little segue introduction here. Or maybe you want to do it. Okay. Go ahead. I'll do it. You know Go what? ahead. Okay. So Black Friday was invented by, and I can't say it. What? It was invented by, Why are... and I'm going to say it. It was inven- invented by turkeys. Why did they invent tur- I turkeys? <laughs> Who... <laughs> And you know a what? Turkey invented Black it's Friday. R- your, you know what? Your job is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Doing segues into the list is so hard. Um, everybody knows what happens. The Wednesday that's four days after Thanksgiving, it's Black Friday. Wait, it's Black Friday today, guys. We actually guys. know who invented Black Friday. Oh. It's Jay Gould. And that was a famous turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk Black Friday today. Um, All right. So let's pull up this uh yeah so this 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 list here. Now I just want to give you a little background on this website before we Ranker. get into what so this is this is Ranker. We've been on Ranker. Okay. I, I know we've been Ranker on Ranker, but I'm just I'm just showing off the website a little bit first. Okay, okay. show okay. off. Okay, so we we have Ranker. I mean, we can see the type of stuff that they're showing on Ranker. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do have Ranker for the Republicans. We yep. do. Yeah. Say nay more. Why nay more has so much beef with Black Panther and Wakanda? Say nay more. Nay. Say, yeah. Oh, I get that. Yeah, and he has beef with Black Is Panther. Is he the and Wakanda. bad guy from the new movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Did you so see that's it? One th- no, I did not see oh, okay. it. Okay. I was going to ask you for spoilers. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> you could look at this at this uh, article maybe to find some spoilers because okay. it says he's why he he's has pretty beef. timid about spoiling the bloody pictures. Um. Okay. Wait. You have to go. You have to click on the thing. Okay, yeah. So here's some other stuff that we have on Ranker. Actors who played roles written for someone completely different and nailed it. The most epic moments in World Cup history. Underrated movies based on real-life crimes. All the known rings from the Lord of the Rings and what they do. So you're getting the general idea of of what kind of thing we'll see on this website, and I, yeah. right? And uh, for the first one there, actors who played roles written for someone else and nailed it. I Is heard that, that uh, Optimus Prime was not supposed to be in Transformers. I heard that that was supposed to be... Uh, it was, it, was it was supposed, supposed to, be, to be Kevin Costner. Yeah, Kevin Costner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin true. Costner was supposed to play that, but he got sick. He got, he got really, sick. really yeah. sick. He got and sick. It's called the Cybertron it. Curse. Yeah, it was supposed to just be Kevin Costner walking yeah. around yeah. and doing all. And he's that. supposed to be yeah. doing the same exact voice from JFK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's supposed to be going Optimus. We gotta. He, he, <laughs> well, there's he's another Optimus, character. Yeah. Well, he's talking <laughs> in the mirror. Optimus, you gotta get your damn self together. We gotta stop the. Optimus, you're so beautiful. 
He was very Optimus sweet. Optimus, you're the most beautiful. Yeah, and he was going like, Autobot. back and to the AllSpark. <laughs> back <laughs> and to the AllSpark. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you get the general idea of what's going on on this on this website. They have a science section that I was probably looking at here. Probably where I would probably spend most of my time on right. the website. Wait, hold on. So you're look, we're looking at the science section here. We got science. Uh, Ross Geller is the the number two best fictional paleontologist. Ah. Um, number w- chicken is number one best kind of bird to eat. That's true. Penguin number two coolest animal that lives in the in the tundra. I mean, so that's the science section. What's a pinguacula? Uh-huh. I don't know. That's why I didn't read that one. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Oh, it's but, a meat eating plant. So we're on the science section today, and you're thinking, what? How? What science? What could? What could? The, why are we here? Um. And I found this <laughs> list on Ranker, <laughs> on the science section. What happens to your body when you die in a human stampede by Laura Allen? And you can see this is categorized under the weirdly interesting <laughs> section weirdly of the science. weirdly interesting. I'm finding myself science. weirdly interested by this. Yeah. Um, what, so what is it? I mean, I guess this is g- clear the tie to Black Friday. Yeah. yeah. Right? Which is in Black Friday, you get. There's somebody that the, died in a in stampede. In the service right? of trying to get something very cool, uh-huh. you know, maybe. TV. A, a TV, maybe they re-released uh, another version of the PlayStation that's thin or something, mm-hmm. right? And you're running, and you're fucking jumping on people's heads like Goombas trying to get that Nintendo. Yeah. It could be worth it to you to die for this. I would give my fucking life for a Sony Ericsson. Dude, for a new a new salad spinner? Ugh. Oh, my God. A sous vide? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh my dude. God. You want to cook I all your food? I want to die right now. You want to cook all your food in a water me. bag? Yes. I would uh-huh. rather fucking die than not have a sous vide in my oh house. Oh, my God. Yeah. So either way, I'm winning. I bought my dad a sous vide for Christmas two years ago, and I haven't seen him use it. Really? Yeah. How expensive are they? I was like 150 bucks. Oh, I thought they were like $1,000. No. Oh, man, I might have to get one. I, I ch- well, had my Black siblings Friday. chip in. What the hell do you use it for? You Food. cook a steak really good. But what? You can cook a steak really good with a damn cast iron Yeah, but pan. you boil it first <laughs> in a water bag. Oh, a boiled steak? That sounds damn good. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> sounds so good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I kind of just took selections from this list. Um, okay. it's kind of, it was kind of long, uh, but we can just start off here. Um, every year we hear about some poor soul dying in the massive shoppers on Black Friday. Death by human stampede isn't the most common way to go, but it is definitely is one of the most horrifying. But what causes human stampedes, and why do you die in a stampede rather than being helped or picked up by others? The answers will rock your faith in human goodness to the core. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'm ready to be rocked. It's a perfect time of the yeah. year to have your uh, faith in humanity. I just I love that this list is on is on Ranker. It was making yeah. me laugh so much that Ranker put this out <laughs> <laughs> for Black Friday, <laughs> and it's weirdly interesting. It's we- it is weirdly interesting. So first of all, <clears throat> you won't be able to move when trying to avoid being killed by a crowd. You should be sure you're able to move. <laughs> I I will say I've definitely been at things before where I was like. There's too many people up in this bitch. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do think about that sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's like, if, oh. if if you can't move in a room, just don't be in it. But I also have been def- I've, I've been at shows before where I'm uh, where it's, you're like on the floor level thing, and there's a million people around you, and I do convince myself that I have superhuman strength and that I could I can hold back everybody doing this. Yeah. Uh, and then but then you get somebody crushes you to death. Yeah, you I die in a problem. There's stampede. a bigger guy. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're, the mistake you're making here is you should make sure that you're able to move. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have definitely. I remember. I might. I. I think next time I go to a big crowded concert, maybe a stadium show or something, I'm on the floor. It's. It's. There's a crush. I'm scared. I'll just kind of pull out my exosuit. That's ah, smart. Just yeah. Protect yourself. Yeah. yeah. I you think hit the button on your chest. And yeah. And I have like the a worst, space like, marine. The yeah. worst uh, crowd crush I've been in was Whoop. was a um one I of don't the know uh, what, I just did. what the hell boy click, I, just click it back. I just clicked a button on this by accident. Nice. Damn. Uh, the worst one I ever I ever was in I think was when the Patriots won the Super Bowl. And oh. I was living in Boston. I lived on the corner on or I didn't live. I worked on the corner on Boylston, and I had to go like. A quarter of a block to get I had the out exact of that same and situation. it took me an hour to yeah. get like 40 feet yeah, dude. yeah it took me a fucking Crazy. hour and i was literally and i was like an hour being the biggest piece of shit of my life like i'm fucking throwing elbows in granny's face yeah, yeah and like yeah. pushing people over well that's yeah like, you're get out of my fucking way you're doing that in boston anyway so it's like any, everyone there is used to it exactly nobody gave it uh, really cared i yeah. also had like a giant backpack on yeah and i'm like i had you had like you had kind of like um like arm blades yeah too. yeah so i'm doing this yeah. and stuff Tonfus. i'm slicing and dicing yeah yeah, yeah. I, and your legs are replaced with blades i'll admit it i'm the guy who threw the beer at gronk 
For uh, real? Yep. I hit him right in the head. I was drinking beer at work, and I got so fucking mad. You gave him mad. more CTE than he already had. Yes, sir. I mean, he keeps his name's Gronk. Yep. Dude. Yeah, you knocked him back to normal for like half a second. Yeah, he had a British that, accent. Yeah. Ew, what in the world was what? that? Yeah, I've been playing. Hmm. Comes up and hits him. I've been <laughs> playing American football for so <laughs> long. Did somebody thought I need to make an my drink. face? Huh? Yeah, he's he's talking a British accent. He gets hit again, and that's immediately when he had the idea to make his energy drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude, the Gronk monster was actually really good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'd like to see Gronk's monster. <laughs> His penis. I'd like to see his penis <laughs> suck on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to slurp that shit up like spaghetti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up here we have, you're going to get very, very hot. Initially, the only warning you might have that something is wrong will be the fact that you're getting hot. Like, really, really hot. This is going to be problematic for you from the very beginning. Well, thank you for saying that. Hey, I me. think you accidentally switched into what happens when your body falls into a volcano. No, so that's actually what's surprising is no. Yeah, this is weirdly what? interesting. It's weirdly inter. That's why it's so but weirdly interesting. You have to admit it would work for that list as well. You're going I, to get very, very hot in a volcano. I think that you might have a different warning that something is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you're, you're going, going to fall in. You're going to be like. Hmm. I feel like the first thing is that something is off. You're going to be in a volcano. I feel like that's the first warning. You can be convinced. Yeah, that's maybe anything. that you're falling. I'm in a yeah. black and off red the room. Rim of a volcano into the. I'm lava. jumping on a red trampoline. You, you know what? Know. You know what you could have said is what? that this it's supposed to be on the list of uh, if the floor actually was lava. Yo, oh, we should shit. write that list. That's yeah, a good yeah. idea. Well, that's a very just, good point. Just pick and choose from this list. You're going to get very, very <laughs> hot. And then I yeah. think it'll, I think it'll work out. I just, I love the language in this list. Just, this is going to be problematic for you from the very <laughs> beginning. I love, yeah. You kind of, it kind of makes you imagine somebody who's like, is thinks they're about to die in a human stampede because they're getting crushed, and they're like searching desperately for how to survive and they get this this is exactly yeah there's They're a reading bunch of the, this on i their want phone. the lens i want you to look yeah to look through the, at this through is is somebody who currently is dying in a human stampede <laughs> and they look up what is happening to me <laughs> <laughs> they're on their phone they're on, on their, their phone, phone and there's what <laughs> what happens when i die in a human stampede You're this, isn't, very, very this isn't how to survive a human no, stampede yeah, how to get out of one i don't this think is what happens when you I die think, in one. i think there probably is no way to survive if you're already in a human stampede no that, yeah. I, well there is some advice they put at the end i don't remember if i put it in okay. the slideshow or not but it literally is just like try and walk away <laughs> Try yeah. and go out uh, of there. Okay, as tempted as I am to jump into that human stampede, <laughs> I'm going to resist. Um, okay, next up we have the group will basically become <laughs> a liquid. So this works for the volcano one too, uh, actually. Yeah, okay. yeah. See, I'm Think, telling you, this would work perfect. All of yeah. this. Think of it this way: if you took an hourglass and poured sand through it, you'd see that all the grains flow through, with the ones on top moving to follow the ones on the bottom. Now imagine you're just a single grain of sand somewhere in the middle, and now imagine that the <laughs> grain of sand has lungs, a rib cage, a heart, and needs to breathe. It's easy to see why this would be problematic. They should make uh, they should make hourglasses with all that. Yeah, yeah. screaming. Sand. They should hourglass. make sand with hearts and lungs. Yeah. You make a living sand <laughs> that hurts, <laughs> that it feels pain when it's uh, yeah. anything happens to it when you step on the beach. Yeah, they should yeah. make a sand man. So yeah, now I'm I'm in I'm in the human stampede. I'm being crushed. I can't breathe. I'm scrolling on my phone. I'm three deep, and I'm like, oh, it's problematic. I'm figuring out now. <laughs> yeah, this group this is almost becoming a liquid. <laughs> I'm almost a piece of sand in this group. What what do they mean by the group will basically become a liquid? Because like, like, like a, you know like a, like when you see like a physics simulation of like water or something, and there's all those little beads, and they're yeah. like, oh yeah, they're just okay. being like thrown to and fro. Yeah, that makes. sense. I would yeah. say you you end up becoming one of those beads. It's well, also if say- you're if you're if you're at a a, a demonstration of a, of the liquefier ray. Yes, that's they, also well, I think the, that might be says, specific. It says the group will become a liquid, and then their example is sand. <laughs> <laughs> Sand is a liquid. The goop, maybe I meant to say the goop will basically become a liquid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes that's more kind s- of as close That makes way more sense. I'd be so scared and then my pee would become a liquid. Yeah. My poop would become a liquid. Because yeah. I'd be shooting poopy diarrhea everywhere. Maybe like, that's, that's how you the survive. Asshole next yeah. <laughs> that's how you survive. Nobody wants, even in a human stampede, I mean, if people are stampeding, it's going to be a full stop if they uh-huh. smell shit. Just yeah. Oh, like, oh, oh, who did that? Yeah, oh, my God. my Who did that? Yeah, their legs were going like, wada, 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 and then they completely stop because they're like, it actually smells like fucking baby shit. Yeah, everyone's yeah. going to go home. Yeah. yeah, someone's shining a flashlight in the air, yeah. and the, the poop cleanup squad comes through, mm-hmm. it's pushing everyone aside. Dressed up like Monsters, Inc. Carrying the, yeah. the guy who pooped his pants out on, on a yep. stretcher. Mm-hmm. Code 2319. Oh, yeah. That Here's shit's scary. Blowing up all those hats and shit, just donate them to a fucking shelter, man. I'd wear them. Yeah, fuck. I'll wear fuck. those fucking little boy socks. 
Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Not a problem to me. <laughs> Send them to me. Yeah. Send them to me. Go ahead. Send I them. want. I want them. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blowing them like up? A bear. You know, yeah, it's not even that I would wear them. I want to wear them. They look dope. Send them to me. Send me those, those clothes. Those look comfy. Yeah. They look comfy as fuck. And my feet. Give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> now. Right now. You damn monster. What's next? Uh, next up is someone in front of you will probably fall. And I don't believe this, that for They put a this second. picture. Look at this. I love this picture. Someone falling during a human stampede is no. definitely what's going on there. Well, that's no. the first. That's the, uh, the first. That's the first victim of the it looks, like a, looks like a damn music video. Yeah. You ask it does. me. So like tattoo all the things she said. Music yeah. video. Yeah, it's from that. Yeah. Um, other people are going to fall on you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! This picture. See, I do. Kinda... I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy at the far yeah, right yeah. of the picture. Um, I be the guy. I'm not going in there. Yeah, no, thank, no you. thank you. I want to be the guy in the, the top right corner there. I would like to live. I would just like to live in every situation. That's I, true. I would like the outcome to be me living. Yeah, that I've would been be thinking huge. a lot about just dying, just getting hit by stray bullets all the time. I'm always uh-huh, like, yeah. yeah, I see too many videos of people. You know those videos where it's like, that is why just would... another day in wherever, and then it's just like you hear like 5,000 gunshots. I'm like, one of those bullets is going to fly all the way from Detroit into my apartment building and hit me right here in the middle of my head. Yeah, that's I'm why gonna... I would never go to war. Yeah. yeah. War yeah. would suck due to that. I wouldn't of go to war. The cause... possibility of getting shot. Yeah, it's not that for me. I think it's just like I just like my stuff here. Yeah, that's true. I like mine too. I also camo looks like fucking shit, honestly, on me. Yeah, yeah. I look fucking goofy. It makes me look. I fat. also the, yeah. yeah, all those utility belts and shit you have to carry. I do look kind of chubby and that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the I don't want helmet that. makes my head look so round. My uh, I had a teacher in, the top. in and I hate that it says born to kill on it. Yeah, yeah. I had a teacher in middle school who told me that if uh, if I was uh, like, I was asking him about the draft. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, he was saying like, yo, yeah, if you're on medication, they won't draft you. And I was like, wait, so I take Adderall. Will I not go to war? He's like, yeah, you probably won't. No, dude, you'll be <laughs> sought after. <laughs> yeah. no, you'll be I adults, and adults I will take now, Adderall. You're gonna be like the fucking. The you're gonna sniper. be like no. the, the precogs from from yeah, Minority right? Report. They're gonna have you in a fucking <laughs> yeah. like tank in your line. They just they they drop like ten Adderall pills yeah. down your throat, and you're just with your mind controlling like a hundred <laughs> drones yeah. at yeah. once. <laughs> and they're all they're all flying around. They're all flying over like a wedding. They're supposed to drop bombs on. They're like going down and touching all the curtains <laughs> and <Yeah>. like <laughs> eating, taking little bites of all the food and flying around <laughs> and getting distracted and leaving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they played getting a distract- good song at the wedding. Yeah. I wanted dancing, to. The I wanted to dance. dance. It's like <laughs> ten drones. And they yeah, just make a, a human shape and it's just yeah. like <laughs> 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 they played the electric slide. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Um, next up. Oh, this is so here. This is actually part of, of other people are going to fall on you. Uh, so you've fallen down in a crowd. No big deal. Just get up again quickly and you'll be fine, right? Nope. Eventually, people are caught in a crushing effect from which there is no escape. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's I no hate escape. That. I can't imagine what it's like to be crushed. Well, to I haven't posed the question. Yeah. I met <laughs> a guy who liked to that's be crushed. So, that's so rude. If I was if I was dying in a human stampede and, and I'm I looked at this, this up, I'm like, oh, there, there's you'll be fine, right? Yeah, oh, oh, oh I'll be fine. Nope. nope. Eventually <laughs> people are caught in there's a crushing no. effect. Did I tell you guys about that guy I met? What guy? Kevin Carpet. What? It's this dude who wraps himself up in a carpet in New York and then just oh. like lays down places. Did you crush yeah, him? You I stood on him, yeah. Did you try to like really get him? It's a sexual no. fetish. Right? I would try to hurt it's him. It's gotta be. Yeah, I think I you, just, you I think like I enabled assisted. a, a sex well. You, it's guy. not that you enabled it; it's that you had sex with him, basically. Yeah, in his, yeah. In, in his, his way, in his alien world. Well, he puts himself. I saw a video where he wrapped himself up in a carpet and just put himself on a, a crosswalk. What an easy, what an it. easy way to to uh, satisfy your sexual fetish is by being like, oh no, I'm like a funny thing that happens at bars or whatever. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know. And if Pat he, is Pat sees him, he's like, oh, I'll have sex with that guy. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it right now. Hey, you know yeah. what? Was he fine? I didn't see him. I only saw a carpet. <laughs> Wait, you didn't see him at He didn't come you out? You only knew him as a carpet? Yeah. So he could have been He could have been empty. Yeah. yeah it could have just been a carpet. You just stood on a carpet and said, that's Kevin. And then somebody said, oh, do you see, like, he's in front of the bar, and someone's like, yeah, that's Kevin. He's in a, there's a man in that carpet right now. You wouldn't say, you, I mean, nobody would be like, uh. The bartender wasn't like, hey, get this fucking carpet no, out of here. No, the bartender was like, yeah, that's Kevin. 
the wow. hell is going on in this damn city? We it's live in kinda, yeah. Sodom and yeah, Gomorrah. I know. Yeah. I know. We, we, that is the, that is a cleansing, current... Yeah. yeah. This place needs to be c- fucking nuclear annihilated. Well, I guess he's been doing it since the 80s. Since then the he, 80s. Then it's been that, that bad that long. probably smells bad. Yeah. He's that that long. Hey, he probably got a new carpet. What, are you washing in a giant washing machine? Yeah. That thing's huge. What do you, How do you wash that? How does he wash himself How does he in wash there? It? How does he, he's a guy. He sits on the floor. He's a carpet. He's a man, not a carpet. It just doesn't make sense. It, it makes no make sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> um, you will not be able to escape even though your brain will tell you to. Yeah. I think that's true of most ways that you die. Yeah. Because your brain's like, don't <laughs> yeah, do it, Just get out of here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Try get escaping. Knock get it off. Get the hell out of here. You yeah. need to not do this. Yeah, just don't do that. Um, you're going to experience some horrifying things. This could be, I mean, okay, but uh, pff, riddle me this, you fucker. Sure. Playboy Mansion, human stampede. You're dying oh my by God. there's breasts and fucking stinky wet pussy getting. Dude, all with my over luck, you. I'd be between the guys yeah, that exactly. were there. Exactly. Yeah. Real, I'd be there. Be like a little, a little wall of guys. There's like a thousand women who are all getting crushed to death over here, and I'm in this. Oh, I'm great. pinned in a corner <laughs> by five sweaty fat guys. Yeah, the waiters. You're you're dying yeah. with Andy Dick on top yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> and all the girls are over there dying. Going, oh. And Andy Dick is in your face. He's like, hey, (laughs) hey. (laughs) Starts biting you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's die together. I actually like this stuff. (laughs) Yeah, that, you're right. With your luck, that would happen. I hate my fucking luck. With my luck, all the fucking animals that live in the playboy. That's my fucking luck. Your luck luck sucks, dude. Dude, I can't believe that. And even worse, I took it away from you. Oh, my God. That's how bad your luck is. Cameron. Oh, well, no, oh, you have... My arm just fucking broke. I think you're having uh, a you're stroke. You're like normal luck, though. My arm just broke. No, you, it's not a luck <laughs> thing. You're having a stroke. My arm is so... <laughs> <laughs> you have a pretty good stroked out face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if one of us had a massive stroke on it's, air? It's going to It would be incredible. Me. Can we promise to release it? Yeah. Oh, if yeah. any of us, like, die in, during an episode or have a stroke or, yeah, like... Yeah, I want to make a pact right now. Yeah, All of us. What, that. Anything that happens... <laughs> I didn't. Any think med, any works so I didn't well. This would work. <laughs> this is actually more of an achievement than any, like anything any we've ever done. Terrifying medical. Like, if we get a close even, up of this, if we if we explode into blood suddenly on air, um, then it's gonna it's, get released. It's live. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that's important to I, me. That would be like the, it'll be called the red mist that's episode. The that is the that's like what I think everything is kind of maybe working towards. Yeah. One or all of us dying on air. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. start working towards We're that. Do some okay. I'm gonna start eating on really unhealthy stuff. food to try yeah. and die. Okay. Yeah, because I want to die. That'd be Holy so crap, funny if you just end up looking awesome. like me. <laughs> <laughs> we all just start eating like shit and turn into bad. I mean, some people are like, "Yeah, we want to die. We we want to do eventually die on air, so we're all eating junk food." Yeah, <laughs> that's you guys. You guys die. I'm, I'm trying to bud wire myself by just eating chips every day. That'll do. This guy's a death wish. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, like, um, what horrifying things you're gonna experience in a human stampede? Oops. Uh, you uh, you gotta click back on that. Oh yeah. my god, Jubio. Okay. If you're in front of the crowd, you could be the first to die. Makes sense to me. Yeah. In front of the crowd, like, but is there anyone in front of you? Because I'd just run my white ass away. I'd run backwards. I would just say, See, the I would go, I would go like this. Start. Stampede Stop. is about to start, right? Everyone's coming towards me. I turn around, see there's a stampede. I start doing this so that everyone thinks that something weird is happening. Okay, on the inside. that's smart. And then you cause a stampede the other direction. Yeah. And then the, pe- the pe- other people on the other side, they're in the front. They're first to die, mm-hmm. not me. I'm and last. we all go down like bowling pins, right? It's easier... Like, we're all going down backwards. Uh-huh. You can breathe up. Yeah. You can breathe up. You can breathe up. You know what I would bring? Silly straw, like, killer clowns from outer space. Uh-huh. Yeah, big, long ones. So it doesn't matter how many fucking 50 fucking uh, lifeless ch- children's bodies deep I am. Uh-huh. I'm underneath that whole thing. I got a giant thing, like a reed in a, in yeah, a like pond. Yeah, like a snorkel. Yeah, and I'm just... You're like a you're like a ninja. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna go deep in a fifty dead children's bodies. Is what you said? No, <laughs> no, that I'm shit at back the, turbo. No, I'm at, <laughs> I'm at the bottom of a pile. Of if you're kids. in front of the crowd, if you're in front of the crowd, that means you're safe, <laughs> or right? Or adults. <laughs> <laughs> you're at the Wiggles concert. And I'm not. <laughs> Stampede at the Wiggles concert. Uh, That's funny to you. <laughs> Wait, that's fun. That's way yo, more tragic yo, than, yo. than the fucking pit during fruit salad was insane. <laughs> Shit went stupid. Uh, if you're in front of the crowd, that means you're safe, right? 
they're all going to crush you. That's bloody mental. They keep yeah. they keep asking. They keep going like, "You're fine, right?" No, you're actually no. going to have the biggest disaster of all you time will and die and suffer. Fucking die, asshole! No one will be able to help you. God, God yeah. might be. Or hopefully, God. maybe a pregnant mom who gets that strength they get. Yeah, that could be huge. Oh my God! I'm, you yo, if I'm at a concert and I'm I'm in the pit throwing elbows, that's why I stay next to a pregnant mom. Uh-huh. Yep. And you, if and, I'm and like, before, if I'm, you know, yeah. If I want to jump into the pit, I turn to that mom and I say, "I'm your baby." And then I, <laughs> I you, you need in. to always convince. If you need a pregnant mom to do something really well, you got to convince her that she that her baby's about to die. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh that my shit god, these dishes work. are so dirty. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna make your baby die. <laughs> <laughs> They're done instantly, dude. Superpowers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. It's true that security personnel and maybe a few helpful bystanders could try to help you, but they're not going to do much good. You may crawl over bodies, you may push people, you may claw at them, fight them, even bite people in rare instances. Expect to be pushed, bruised, scraped, hit, and screamed at while you struggle to live. Mm, okay. I yeah. expect that's how I, I will die anyway. Yeah. yeah. Is getting screamed at. Pushed, <laughs> scraped. bruised, scraped, hit, and screamed at. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. die of uh, slowly on a, my deathbed. Yeah, old age. I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying of getting screamed yeah. at. Yeah, dying by getting screamed at because uh, that is how you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah that is how you. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. You don't even eat it. You just die from being. So you get startled by the scream and die. You're eating like a radioactive like rod of uranium. <laughs> don't you dare! Don't you dare eat that. Um. Then we got. You won't be able. Here's a three lightning round. Okay. You won't be able to breathe. Your ribs may crack. You may die of a heart attack. That's like Doctor Seuss. <laughs> you won't be able to breathe. Your ribs this may is, crack. Yeah. You oh, may pla- die of a heart attack. Oh, the ways you'll die. That's what the freaking book this is from. Holy well, God. I wouldn't want to read that book. I'm you not sure anybody would. I, I have to. I would make that parody book. I know. I would read that as like an adult who's into twisted parodies. Like I don't know. One of my favorite types of shirts. I don't know if you guys have seen these shirts. And it's like a picture of kids playing with a board game, and it says, "Let's summon Satan." That shit is fucking awesome. That's dude. the type of shit I think is funny. Cameron's that other favorite people, shirt is a picture of kids. Whoa. Other people, well, they're summoning Satan. It's not really, doesn't. It's kind of a stretch. You know, what I like I like ones where maybe it's like he likes it's like to an old, stretch the kids over. His it's body. like an old milk ad, right? And it's like the milk has been poured into a cereal bowl, but then it, it says at the top it says that's jizz or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's got good. Jizz. No, not got jizz. Well, that's too much of. A, yeah, I guess that's it's a better a got parody. Milk. Shirt, but it says "Got." See, he actually thinks that's. He, funny. he likes that. Shirt. <laughs> he likes shirts that go hard. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, yeah. I like shirts that go hard like this. Yeah, yeah. And I, my it's shirt. sweatshirt day, y'all. Sweatshirt day. Sweatshirt day. Every day has pretty much been a sweatshirt day. As you didn't late. even get excited for sweatshirt, sweatshirt day. day. Fuck yeah, motherfucker! Okay, oh yeah, motherfucker! Fuck. Sweatshirt day, motherfucker! <laughs> let's fucking go. Um. Then we have. You will not be trampled to death, probably. These guys are getting crushed by some kind of communist block. Yeah, look at this picture. Uh, this, God. If, this makes sense why people die in human stampedes, and I'm looking at this. Yeah. If that, if that, if that, if that, if why is that thing at the concert? <laughs> <laughs> That's the stage, dude. Yeah, it's a new guar yeah. prop. For, this, for the next, this next song, I want you to go fucking crazy. And they just they just start dropping this giant hydraulic what? press. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not really a stampede at that point. Yeah. Um, but it says you won't be trampled to it's death. It's a hydraulic press. Well, yeah, you'll be crushed well, to fine. death by a giant yeah. press. Yeah. yeah, that's some like death clock fucking shit. That's awesome, dude. Um, so if you're in a crowd and you feel like it's getting too dense, don't panic. Go with the flow of the crowd and try to move in a diagonal direction towards the side. Don't try to stop. Keep your hands to your chest to defend your breathing space and don't fall because the next moments after that could be your last. Ah, so yeah. that's how you avoid a, a human stampede. That's the instructions they give you. you go so you scroll through through fifteen list items that mm-hmm. I cut those down a ton. Those are yeah. all really long. You read you probably it's probably a ten minute read. Okay. You get to the bottom and they're they they say, just go with the flow. I feel like you should lead with uh the like advice. how to survive. Yeah. Yeah, well Here's that's a different list. This is what happens when you die. I'm <laughs> calling nine one one. Yeah, that's if a I'm good call. That, I'm stuck inside at the Brockhampton concert and I'm calling <laughs> And I'm getting completely <laughs> crushed to death. I'm calling 911. I'm being crushed by 4,000 4 foot 11 guys. Dude, that's actually genius. I'm, yeah, they're all so wearing that's, overalls yeah, and dresses. Oh, man, I'm getting stomped out by a golf lift lure yeah. sneaker. <laughs> that's why I carry around a strobe light with me, okay? Because, right, I'm getting, I'm getting like crushed from all sides at the snail mail show, mm-hmm. and I'm holding up my strobe light, <laughs> yeah. okay? It's flashing out. People are saying, oh, my God. 
that guy's excited. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, Levi, yeah. that guy's yeah. having fun. Crushed it, what what's another concert that you would be crushed at? You think um, like obviously. Girl Pool, Girl Pool. <laughs> Haim, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, getting crushed dude, at I the got, Haim dude, concert. Dude, I was yeah, I got I got fucking I I got like basically flattened to two dimensions at the Iron and Wine show. Yeah, yeah. I know we're joking about this, but my friend did die getting trampled at the Frankie Cosmos show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a friend of mine got turned into fucking mush at a Perfume Genius show. <laughs> it's actually true. <laughs> It was really, really bad. He got completely turned into a bloody pulp. He was just like a bunch of meat with two eyeballs sitting there by the end. Yeah, it's yeah. actually cruelly kind of a cruel irony. But my friend actually got turned to dust at a duster show. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking god. That's really awful. scary shit. Yeah. Um, my brother died at a Burt Kreischer show. <laughs> 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 he, he started. <laughs> He started doing the machine, and people just started running. <laughs> Immediately, yeah. mass panic, dude. People just fucking dying everywhere. We need that, dude. We need to be the first comedy show where where somebody dies by people, trampling. People get fucking human stampeded. We, yeah. We'll book. Here's what we we book like a five capacity <laughs> venue. <laughs> we try to fit like 150 yeah. we people. Book, we book it. the bathroom of a theater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We just try to shove people into there, uh, and then we turn the lights off. We seal it, and then people just die of asphyxiation. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not a bad idea. Um, just and just to to remind you what website we're on here. Um, here's some here's some, <laughs> here's the recommended <laughs> stuff at the end. Eleven details about what it's like to be skinned alive. Creepy things you didn't know about falling to your death. Plot twists that happen right in the middle of the movie and change everything. And underrated sci-fi movies that flopped at the box office. Oh my god! Did you look at all at the falling to your death one? Or no, no, I didn't. Oh man, that'll be a list for another day. Yeah, we're just gonna do death lists on Ringer yeah. now. <laughs> I would love to fall to my. I love death. creepy things you didn't know. Yeah, uh, Go, you will turn into a ghost. <laughs> Did you ever hear your the, bones will come out of your it's body? It's not true, but you. They say you die before. They you say get you can't ground. breathe. Yeah, that's, I can breathe. They said I remember that's a fact. I remember learning that fact when I was a kid, which I don't know if it's true, but they're like, if you fell off the Empire State Building, you wouldn't be able to breathe because you're falling so fast because the air is going. I feel like so you fast. learning that as a kid changed a lot of things in your life. I it feel was like you learned stuff to- that changed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, it's fair. It was my, yeah, it was more of my experiences. <laughs> yeah, mostly my experiences changed my life. Yeah, it was mostly the things I did and had done to me. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> What's funny? I'd love to see do you work for Ranker. <laughs> Dude, I Ranking could do a good job. Things that Dude, I, would, your body. I have the best resume ever for Ranker. I've, I've talked 500 hours yeah. talking about lists. That's a good point. We I've read I've read more lists than the people who work at Ranker. Once we retire from all this, we definitely could. Which God, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, I just started the video stuff. We're ready to go. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. We put all um, this money into the set. We're done. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It was a good five run. or six we, more episodes. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's about all you guys are getting. Gives a crap. Um, but if you want more episodes, just go over there to the Patreon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patreon.com slash podcast about lists. We just did an episode where he ate food uh-huh. um, out of a diaper, or out of multiple It diapers. was Diaper Talk 4, diaper Stinksgiving. Talk. I'm sure I'm sure you guys have heard of Diaper Talk. Who hasn't? And today I messed up the camera angles. So All right, I now do, go I to the other this. camera. So that's not that. Uh, you're kind of stealing my thing now. And I, I can't uh, even get a, I yeah. can't even get my own um, thing. So back go, to my, on, back to go on, go on. Go on uh, Patreon and subscribe. Can you cut to my <laughs> camera real quick? Okay, hold on. Okay, wait one second. Okay, now switch to this camera and go on Patreon and go on um, Patreon and YouTube. And uh,